So an uptick in violence in Jerusalem is raising international concerns. The UN Security Council will meet privately in the coming hours to discuss it. There have been nightly clashes between Palestinians and Israeli police over the possible evictions in the neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah. The Palestinian Red Crescent, say, Red, Red Crescent says at least 19 Palestinians were injured on Sunday and an Israeli Supreme Court hearing on the evictions has now been delayed. A new date will be scheduled within 30 days. Well, Elliot Gotkin is in Jerusalem with the latest on all of this. And Elliot, hi. I do want you to just update us on this information that Israel is to temporarily halt visits to uh, the, the Jewish holy site and the Muslim holy site as these tensions uh, continue to soar. That's right, Robin. This was a statement put out by the uh, chief of Israeli police saying that uh, at this stage uh, visits will not be allowed to uh, the site known as Temple Mount to uh, Jews and Haram al-Sharif to uh, Muslims, a site that is uh, revered by both faiths. There's been another statement by police actually coming out uh, more recently in the last few minutes uh, saying that uh, a short while ago hundreds of rioters began throwing stones uh, at uh, one of the gates in the old city and that uh, following this uh, police forces there were uh, were ordered um, to uh, go into the Temple Mount to uh, stop the rioting from taking place. So, although a new day has dawned, the violence uh, has continued, and uh, there are concerns that uh, not only is this violence, uh, not, is there, not only is there no let-up in the violence, but uh, that thus far only seems to be getting worse. And, and there's been international pressure, pressure, regional pressure, and reaction to all of this. Now we see hearing that the Security Council will discuss uh, these images that we're seeing now on our screen. Uh, what is the likely outcome, if any? Well, uh, today uh, is uh, Jerusalem Day, uh, which uh, Israelis uh, celebrate as the what they see as the reunification of uh, Jerusalem uh, following the capture of the eastern part of the city, including the old city, uh, in the 1967 uh, Six-Day War. So there are concerns that you know there, there will be further flashpoints, especially as the so-called flag march uh, takes place and uh, Israelis march from the western part of the city to the uh, western wall, uh, which is kind of the outer perimeter of the uh, destroyed. Uh, Jewish temple and pass through the Muslim quarter on the way. So yes, there are international calls uh, for a de-escalation. Uh, the US uh, National uh, Security Advisor Jake Sullivan has spoken with his counterpart here in Israel to express America's uh, concern and uh, calling for things to be contained. But uh, I think uh, certainly from Israel's uh, perspective, you know, uh, international uh, pressure and international uh, comments about what is going on is is not really their focus uh, right now. They believe that uh, you know they have the right to to quell uh, violence, which they believe uh, was uh, begun by uh, the Palestinians to ensure uh, that uh, you know uh, security is maintained in Jerusalem. Now we've already heard from the police, uh, kind of preventing visits to Temple Mount. We're still waiting to see if there is uh, any comments on the march, which is due to take place uh, later today. But as I say, uh, violence has already continued into this morning with uh, uh, Palestinian protesters throwing rocks uh, at, uh, at police and police going back onto Temple Mount to try to quell the violence. And we'll see what the impact of that is. We'll come back to you uh, as soon as you get more information. If, if you get it, Elliot Gotkin there in Jerusalem. Thanks so much for that report. And we are learning more now about how many people in the U.S. have received a COVID vaccine shot.